I've been GMing a game of Vampire the Masquerade that's been going on for three years at this point, and it's awesome. My players are all invested in the story, have characters with backstories, interests, and desires that all fit well into the world. And for once, I feel like I'm playing a tabletop role-playing game the way the setting wants it to be played. I'm pretty happy for him. That doesn't happen all the time. When I'm not forgetting some of the rules, that is. But it hasn't always been like that. Many of the original player characters were more memes than characters. Some of these were a Nazi vampire, a clone of Bob Kelso from Scrubs, and more or less a self-insert of a friend of mine who will say and think the most bizarre shit imaginable. To give you an idea, when playing Overwatch one night, he asked over voice chat what we thought to Bjorn's dick looked like. Okay, I don't really have words for that, but yeah, sure, sure. Okay. At a college party, he randomly said to these two chicks he just met, So a bunch bleached assholes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he sounds like my type of guy. He you sounds like my type of guy, too. Yeah. And just started talking about them. He once made me sit through an episode of Jersey Shore. It was worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> and I can't tell if he enjoys the show unironically or not. To be clear, this guy isn't dumb or anything. He's just extremely likeable. I really wish that this guy went through a phase of having, you know, the hair. From, from Jersey, Jersey Shore. Shore. Polly yes. Paul, that's the... Paul, yes, Paul. Par- Is it Polly Paul? No, Party Paul, was it? No, fuck, I didn't watch Jersey Shore. I, I don't Shore. know. Like, I'll throw a picture of him up on screen. You know him from the meme, and he's, like, pointing... <laughs> Yeah, and his yeah. hair sticks straight yeah. up. It's like a it's like a white guy flat top. Yeah, it is. The flat <laughs> yeah. top's what it is. It's just he has the strangest quirks in person I have ever met. And you're never sure where his mind will go. This story is about him. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption, but a quick message from our sponsored affiliate with Amazon. So the basic concept of how this works is we get to recommend items from Amazon and if you choose to buy anything, Amazon gives us a small percentage of each sale. It's a pretty solid win-win all round. You get stuff, we get a couple of pennies. There are no extra fees or anything like that. Just Amazon gives us a small percentage of each sale for sending you there. So go ahead and check the link below to our storefront and get everything you could possibly need for tabletop role-playing games through us. Thinking about getting a new battle map or been thinking about getting into a new system like Shadowrun or Call of Cthulhu? Get it through us. Now let's get back to the video. His last character had just died. He tried dropkicking a werewolf. (laughs) It didn't go well. And we had made a new character together. He was called Doyle Hernandez. And he was a big buff dude who worked out all the time. We used a picture of Dwayne the Rock Johnson to represent him. No, no. Use a picture of the situation. (laughs) <laughs> you know the situation. <laughs> yes, that's who it is. I now, like, I'm, I'm picturing the situation from Jersey Shore. You can't just bring up Jersey it's Shore and not. It's Polly Paul. No, but the other guy was the situation. I don't fucking know. I thought you were just saying the situation. I no, don't know. No, he was called the situation because he said anywhere he went, it became the a situation. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was <laughs> Like, it was really cringy, okay? But, look, it's a thing. How do you know all this? I don't know, because Jacob used to watch it all the time. Okay! Okay! Okay, okay, Okay. I'm sorry, I know who the situation is. (laughs) Please forgive me, let's continue. Every vampire that comes into town has to present himself before the prince. And in this case, the Council of Milwaukee. Why the fuck Milwaukee? (laughs) Why the fuck? (laughs) Of all places. (laughs) These are the big badass vampires that run the city and collectively have near absolute power. The only real threat to their power is someone else in the council playing politics. But if they're in agreement, they can just kill you on the spot. No questions asked. The other players were there. Having just finished up reporting back about an ongoing quest on the penalty of death, as it happens. So when they're done, the prince turns to them and says, Why don't you wait here? We have some business with a man outside. You may as well see this. I'm not a cruel GM, usually. All I need from Doyle was to come in, give some reason why he was in Milwaukee, and the council would basically wave him in. This was a formality, really. In retrospect, however, I should have talked with Doyle's player beforehand to make clear what a good reason was. Doyle walks into the council chambers, and I ask him to describe how he enters. After a moment's thought, he says, I swagger on in. I told you it was a situation, because he makes the situation. What I tell you? Shut the fuck up, Jesus. What the fuck I tell you? 
I swag her on in, and then I make an animal noise like Marp. <laughs> <laughs> Tex cannot do justice to this weird noise he made. Ma- 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 <laughs> no, keep going, yeah. I have no idea what animal it was supposed to be, but it sounded something like a burp from a dying sea lion. <laughs> what? The players are in stitches, naturally. I facepalm. The council of centuries-old vampires with absolute power probably wouldn't take kindly to someone making a mockery of their hearing, but I just have them roll their eyes and move on. They ask why he's come into the city in the derpiest voice because he had a speech impediment as a flaw Doyle answers, to get shwoop. <laughs> get shwoop. Fuck me, it's a situation. You know, come tell me. Oh my you have been Dwayne the Golf Johnson. It was a situation. That's how he was actually. Oh, fuck you know, he, me. he just wasn't willing to actually tell the DM, I want to play as one of the boys of Jersey Shore, okay? <laughs> My dearest readers, I hope you can see that this is in no way a satisfactory answer. Why, oh why, would you need to come to Milwaukee specifically to get swole? (laughs) I should clarify that in the setting, Milwaukee already had too many vampires, with more being made as part of the ongoing quest the party was on. If I was being strictly in character with the council, they should basically say no. No matter what Doyle said. But like I mentioned, I was planning on letting it slide because it was a new character and we weren't about to kick the player. But this, I couldn't do it. The players aren't taking to this either. While out of character, they're cracking up. They just see a retarded oaf before them that they have no intention of getting stuck with. Especially when they're already in some shit due to the main storyline. The Nazi leans over to the Venture Elder and whispers, Should I kill him now? And he holds up a finger and replies, Not yet. He wasn't really going to convince the council to kill Doyle. It's just this character was a dick. The prince said something like, That isn't a good enough reason. We're overpopulated. Do you have another reason for coming here? He didn't. <laughs> just, just to get swole. He didn't want to get swole. <laughs> I, that's I, a solid reason, okay? Look, the guy just wants to get swole. He wants to bleach boys' assholes. You know, he just wants to have a good time, you know? <laughs> And create a situation. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm talking about. I tried throwing Doyle a bone and had another council member suggest they stick him with the party to help on the quest. The party, knowing full well this was their buddy's character, immediately piped up that they thought this was a terrible idea and started getting close to whatever elder they had the slightest in with to persuade them to not stick the weird new guy with them. I start panicking slightly. I look over his character sheet for anything at all to salvage this. Doyle was built as a combat machine, more or less, and could kick some serious ass, to the detriment of most of his other stats. He also didn't have any merits that would help in this, but I spotted he had an enemy flaw. In desperation, I cooked up this half-baked idea. The prince would tell the party to escort Doyle to the airport and see him out of the city. Along the way, They would be ambushed by some enemies of his, giving him a chance to show off his combat skills, which the party, with perhaps the exception of the Nazi vampire, was generally lacking. Now you might think that having it be Doyle's enemies that ambush them might backfire, giving the party more reason to kick him out. You might be right, we'll never know, because it didn't get that far. (laughs) I'm guessing a situation was caused. Fuck off, James. (laughs) <laughs> just fuck off. <laughs> they escorted him out to the antechamber, literally just out the door. The Bob Kelso XB shouting, Go home, Doyle, which quickly became a catchphrase. The player must have been panicking too because he was trying to think of any reason to stay, while at least one of the party members was more sporting and trying to offer him a chance as well. The others were more in character. So grasping at straws, Doyle says he came to kill one of the council members. Jaws hit the floor. My brain locked up for several seconds as I tried to contemplate how in the nine hells this would help the situation. Ah, what the fuck I tell you? The situation. I told you, I told you, he fucking said it himself. The guy was causing the situation. And in turn, he is is the the situation. situation. I can't. Let's stop this. 
Someone asked him why he wanted to kill them. Because I slept with their sister? <laughs> that is exactly what, what the, the situation fuck? would do. That is exactly in character. No, this guy was actually playing. He wasn't playing anything else. He wasn't playing Dwayne the Love Johnson. He was actually just really, really wanting to play vampire version of the situation from Jersey Shore. <laughs> but he was too embarrassed to tell anyone <laughs> because they thought they would laugh at him and they more than likely would have. So there you go. End speech. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened, all right? Things are out of my hands now. Because the party huddles up and one guy, the Nazi I think, says we should tell Doyle we can help him, lure him back into the council chambers and then tell them he's going to kill one of them. That'll get us into their good graces. And that's what they do. Doyle walks in there, smiling like an idiot. The players all barricade the doors, turn and shout, he wants to kill one of you. (laughs) The council looks up, all deadpan. The prince turns to one of the vampires with high aspects and asks him to scan him or read his mind. I'm pretty sure this is bullshit that I didn't bother to check with the rule books, but they're elders, they can have crazy powers. I asked Doyle out of character if he was being serious. Thank God he said no, he wasn't. The council member says, he's lying. And the prince, irritated, goes, get him out of here. Doyle freaks out and tries to rush the door the door blocked by the other three party members. He explicitly says he's going to try and force his way out and the party is all too eager for this. Strong as Doyle is, three on one is too much for him. He fails to break through and the party begins to wail on him. No mercy. Long story short, who has two thumbs and a desert eagle to your head? Not Bob Kelso. And thus the tale of Doyle Hernandez comes to a sudden anticlimactic end. He only wanted to get swole and instead ended up a stain on the carpet. Since then, I've been more careful when introducing new characters. Doyle's third character lived much longer than the previous one. Partly because he was played better, but mostly because I had mercy on him. Even so, he too became unplayable. Though he is still alive, Hiding in the woods. What? I want to hear about that one. Yeah, give us that one. Give us that story. But that's a story for another time. His player is still a good buddy, and this is all just hilarious memories to the grip. No hard feelings. Though I still have no idea what he was thinking. I told you. Go ahead. Ask him. Ask him. Look. Tell us right now. Ask him. Was he thinking of the situation? Was he just wanting to play as a situation in Vampire the Masquerade? Just ask him the question, and if get know, back to us, get, get back to us, please. <laughs> um, this guy actually <clears throat> left this in the sub- subreddit. Our, yeah, our neckbeard is subreddit. Your subreddit, and like you know, I'm a sucker for anything vampire than that mask because you just know it's going to be a tweet wreck. You know. Yeah. Uh, so, if any of you have any like cringy stories of playing anything. games or anything like that, put it into the subreddit and. More than likely, we'll read it. Yeah, at some stage we will. I always go through it and see what there is. Yeah. You know what I mean? From time to time. Um, I really enjoyed this one. And if the author... When did he post this? He posted this how many days ago? Seven days ago. So uh, hopefully... Ago. Um, I'll post this to him. Hopefully he might like the next part, which yeah. I would be more... I, I want to hear about why he's hiding in the woods. Yeah, I want to hear more about that. But look, um, also, on another side note... Note: <laughs> We are very close to the hundred thousand subscriber Ooh. mark. So if you go ahead and go downstairs and go to your mum's tablet and then subscribe on your mum's tablet, <laughs> that'd be great. That would be great. <laughs> do it to your dad's tablet, do it to your granny, your granddad's, whatever. Your sisters, your yeah. dogs, yeah, yes. whatever. Like just it helps us out a lot. Really means a lot to us. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, talk to you guys in the not so distant future. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye.